QuickU version 10.0 beta has been released with some great new features, which I'm going to show you now. First up, we now have record by channel. If we take a look here, I've built a lookup with my wash lights. When I hit record, I now have the option to either select the attribute to record intensity, position, color, or beam, or if I click on the attribute, say color, for example, I can then choose the attribute to record, just record red only, or just red, green, and blue. I have selective control over attributes, which then I can store in a queue here. Big advantage, things like beam, I can now have one queue with gobo, another with strobin, for example, and separate that out. We've also listened to you uh, and heard the arse of people who want to be able to take some fixtures and have red, green, and blue on three different faders and color mix. So this is now possible in version 10 beta. The other thing you now have is an edit queue state. Uh, so I've got a playback here that I set earlier with my spots of an effect. What I can now do is I can, in the queue, I can action, uh, select a queue, and with a clear programmer first, uh, I can now edit a queue. So I could say action on this queue, edit queue. Essentially, that now includes that back into my programmer, uh, where, of course, then I could go and make a change to it. So, okay, it's got an effect running. I can now make the size bigger, as you can see there, for that circle effect. My record button is turned to update. I hit update, and that's updated now, that effect in my queue. So you now have a way of bringing your whole queue into the programmer to update. Another thing we've added in version 10 beta uh, is the ability to uh, have your flash buttons below your playbacks also be a go button. So the quick you has the one master go button on each queue stack now. So here's one I made earlier. I've got a color queue stack, which normally I'd have to select and hit my go button to step through. You have a new option here for flash access go, which changes your flash button to become a go button. And the fourth thing we've added in quick you version 10 beta is our network devices window. You now have a window to configure any network nodes uh, compatible on your network. Network devices window is found from the menu. Network devices, and here it will show you any nodes and consoles or gateways you can see on the network. With nodes, I can select them and I can quickly just configure them to work with my console, setting the outputs of a node. I can do things like changing the node IP and name as well. If I see any other QuickU consoles on the network, you can also now grab shows between QuickU consoles via the network. So download version 10 beta now.